Okay, fantastic. Sorry, I think there was a technical glitch earlier and that's the reason you were probably not able to hear me. What I was trying to tell you is uh, we are going to be looking at eight icebreaking questions today and then we are going to be revising drama unit via looking at some important concepts, some important writers and tomorrow we will iterate this process and we'll be looking at important components of drama. Uh, every unit, all the 10 units will be covering so that uh, you get enough practice before your exams, before you settle in for your exams uh, just be very regular while attending these sessions so that you can be uh, properly taking down you you can properly uh, look at all the important pointers that we'll be discussing overall okay so let me just quickly get started with it now the board's not working uh, oh perfect it is working all right so without further ado let's just very quickly get started let's just very very quickly dive into it um, and look at it Okay, perfect. The voice is audible. All right, here we go. This is the first question that I have for you. There are eight speaking questions and then we have uh, a quick refresher on drama. We'll be looking at drama properly. Okay, let's just very quickly get started. Who wrote The Labyrinth of Solitude? Who's the writer who's written The Labyrinth of Solitude? Okay, we started getting the answers also. Just one second, the technical team is just helping me out. Uh, suppress the echo. So hopefully things should be fine. Okay, right. So again, uh, you know, these kind of questions become important. Of course, uh, we we are uh, looking at, we will be talking, we will be discussing uh, in greater detail how you can cover all these topics. But a couple of things that you have to keep in mind, uh, a couple of things that you have to remember is that these kind of questions are also equally important for you to cover. Uh, now, when we talk about the labyrinth of solitude, this is an essay. First of all, remember that. Who has written it? Octavia Paz. Who is Octavia Paz? He is a Mexican poet. Who is Octavia Paz? Octavia Paz is a Mexican poet. So this Mexican poet has written this book length essay uh, that we are able to see. That's called the Labyrinth of Solitude. Right. And each essay is trying to tell you about, you know, how uh, there is this terrible sense of loneliness. There's a psychological labyrinth that we are all in getting intact, entangled in. Uh, remember a lot of these writers like Arun Joshi from India also talks about this or even Albert Camus for that matter is discussing about it, is talking about it when we are looking at the stranger or the outsider so that becomes like a sort of a 20th century theme uh, that we are broadly trying to discuss, that we are broadly trying to cover all together. So Octavia Paz uh, is uh, the writer over here The Labyrinth of Solitude. So please remember Mexican poet this is a book length essay uh, each essay is talking about Mexican Mexican identity. Each essay is trying to tell you about this terrible sense of loneliness altogether. Okay, so that is something which is important. Uh, who's the creator of the character Julian Sorel? A very important work of French literature. A very important work. Who, uh, like you know, when we are talking about the two states, so to say, uh, there were the haves and the have-nots in the Victorian age. Because we are able to look at this particular writer who's written the work, created this character, is very important. What is this writer? Cover French literature, cover this particular writer also in greater detail. Who is this writer that we are talking about over here? So who is this writer? Yes, very good, Tamina. Tamina, Gaurav, uh, uh, Shantani, Anamika, Rupesh. Everybody has got it right. Everybody has got it right. Red in the Black by Stondal. Stondal is the person who is creating this Napoleon-like character. What is a Napoleon-like character? Napoleon-like character, Napoleon's meteoric rise. But he was not able to sustain that. 
when he entered Russia. Russia was a defeat point altogether for Napoleon. But Napoleon was the apple of the eye for the middle classes. Napoleon was the apple of the eye for people who wanted to move ahead in life, right? That is when Napoleon was coming in. So Julian Sorel is a character created by Stondal in the red and the black, as most of you have answered it correctly. Please read the summary today itself and cover French literature also properly. So Julian Sorel is a protagonist of Stondal's The Red and the Black, right? The Red and the Black. And what are we able to see? Uh, Napoleon's meteoric rise is something that is being discussed over here. Good evening, Moshmi. Good evening. Okay, moving on to the third icebreaker question. Who among the following played a most significant role in mobilizing the concept of cultural intermediaries? Cultural intermediaries. Who's giving us the concept of cultural intermediaries? Where are we getting this concept of cultural intermediaries? The taste makers. They are trying to use their own personal experience. Right? So why is it that the car passage is larger even though most of us don't own a car? That is because the taste makers, because of their own personal experiences, they will make the culture. They will make a culture which is suitable for them. Right? They'll make a culture which is suitable for them. So for instance, during coronavirus, because like the elite did not want to get outside, so there was a lockdown rule, for instance. There's a beautiful, uh, you know, economic and political weekly essay also that got published on this particular topic. So again, you're looking at society, you're trying to analyze society uh, with a very, very powerful lens overall, so that, that also becomes important. So please remember that when we are looking at, when we are talking about, when we are trying to understand these concepts are important, Birdie was the right answer. Birdie is absolutely the right answer. Birdie is giving us a concept of cultural intermediaries. But otherwise, all these writers, please remember this time in your net exam, the popular culture questions that you got. The popular culture questions are nothing but they are examples of how important Marxism is for all of you. Right? So that is equally important. So cultural, cultural intermediaries are the taste makers. They leverage, they use, they use their own personal experiences in order to make sure that they are producing culture. Whatever is convenient for them, that is what will happen. Whatever is convenient for these people who are a part of the dominant discourse, who are a part of the dominant ideology, they will create rules according to themselves. They will create rules according to themselves altogether. Please remember that. From whom does Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak borrow the term subaltern? Who is a person uh, from whom we are able to see that Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak is actually borrowing the term subaltern? Cover Marxism, cover popular culture end to end, cover postmodernism. These are very important topics, which before your exam, so a lot of you are asking what to cover, what should be our 50 day strategy. I will uh, make a video on that, but these are the topics that have to be studied, right? These are the topics that have to be studied. We'll also like accelerate uh, the, the number of sessions that we'll be having. Uh, but but having said that, just, just uh, notice all these things. Yes, absolutely right. Gramsci is the right answer. Gramsci is absolutely the right answer. Gramsci gives us a concept of organic intellectuals. He is also talking about traditional intellectuals. How to make a new class, you basically require organic intellectuals. That is important, right? So what are we able to see? We're able to see that the term subaltern, which basically means people from the marginalized, people who are disenfranchised, Dalit literature, women's writings, all of these are literature which are important examples of the subaltern. So Italian critic, Italian Marxist, right, who's writing the prison notebook. So again, all of these things are important, right? The prison notebooks, the writings of Gramsci, the, the Italian writings, Italian literature, that is also important. And Spivak is borrowing this entire term. How Spivak is translating Mashweka Devi's works or other writings that Spivak is doing. So Spivak is an important post-colonial writer. Uh, we are also able to see Gramsci she uh, is an important originator of the idea of subaltern. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm sitting right next to the heater, but still, like, God save me from the cold. Okay, right. Now, moving on. Uh, let's just see the first part written by John Dryden in collaboration with his sister husband 
सिस्टर्स हस्बैंड इज अ हीरोइक ट्रेजेडी इन राइम कपलेट्स इट्स सीक्वल अ हीरोइक ड्रामा रिटन बाय जॉन राइडन हैज बीन कंसीडर्ड अ डिफाइनिंग वर्क इन द सब जॉनर ऑफ हीरोइक ड्रामा इन व्हिच राइम हीरोइक ट्रेजेडी कम्स इनटू फुल बीइंग व्हिच वर्क आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हिच इज दिस वर्क दैट वी आर लुकिंग एट डोंट फॉरगेट टू कवर ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द ओरिजिन्स दैट विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू एक्चुअली कवर डोंट फॉरगेट दैट एट ऑल ओके डोंट फॉरगेट दैट एट ऑल ओके व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर हियर uh mostly we we have the classes on youtube on saturdays and sundays at 10:30 pm this time i i had gone back uh, to meet my mom so that's the reason we couldn't really have the classes but uh, uh so we we got this rescheduled for all of you otherwise saturdays and sundays at 10:30 pm okay right absolutely right a is the right answer the indian queen this is a play by sir robert howard and this was written in collaboration with john bryden right john dryden had written it with sir robert howard okay sir robert howard so please remember that the indian queen is absolutely the right answer sir robert howard in collaboration with him we are able to see that that dryden is writing this particular work all together so you can keep this in mind that how the indian queen this is a play both sir robert howard in collaboration with john dryden their relatives who are writing it or the conquest of mexico uh the indian emperor the conquest of Ma mexico remember the subtitle also this is a sequel to the indian queen we can ask you next time the same question which is a sequel to the indian queen the indian emperor is the right answer these are all examples so restoration heroic drama was inspired by important writers so for instance uh drama was being performed silently so when we are looking at uh, works like gondi word uh, um or or you know when when we, so these are the works that are actually setting the tone for heroic drama even cornell's french style of writing that is also setting the the drama tradition overall so you can you can actually uh, keep that also in mind uh, over here please remember that uh, that how these plays are getting they are coming into being okay the pilgrims reset regress so everybody knows about pilgrims progress but what about pilgrims regress this is a book of allegorical fiction which is written by who is the writer of this particular work who is the writer who has written this particular work can anyone quickly quickly share what is the right answer here what is the correct answer everybody yes absolutely right a is the right answer a is absolutely the right answer that is true that is true so pilgrims regress this is a work cs lewis has written and what are we able to see this is looking at john right john is in search of island of his desire right what is john in search of john is searching for his island of desire search for island of desire that is what all of us are doing over here on this planet we are all in search we are all in search for meaning life is meaning guys but we still trying to give some sort of meaning that is being in good faith there is good faith and bad faith right that we are looking at the theater of absurd absurd writers are very important and what are we able to see we are able to see that there are important themes like fashion Communism, communism uh, that is being discussed. These are very twentieth century themes that are coming in. So please remember the Pilgrim's Regress. This is allegorical work, just like the Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. And this work of C. S. Lewis is coming in nineteen thirty-three. This particular work is trying to tell you about modern phoniness, hypocrisy, intellectual vacancy of the Christian Church, communism, fascism, all the twentieth century important concerns, hollowness. We are. hollow men we are stuffed men all of that gets actually discussed over here the word mythopoeia means myth making and has been used in english since 1846 mythopoeia is a poem by who's written mythopoeia who's the writer who's written mythopoeia who's the writer who's writing mythopoeia mythopoeia is a work written by who's the writer who's who's actually associated with it Yes, yes, yes. 
most of you are are getting this particular question right absolutely right so please remember uh, you know even these kind of terms uh, will be asked to you when we are looking at mythopoeiat uh, uh, now when see understand this even though ezra pound is explaining us but mythopoeia myth making this is actually a work right the title of the poem is by g r r tolkien G R R Tolkien is writing it. Ezra Pound helps us understand mythopoeia. That's a separate issue. But the work that we are talking about is Tolkien's work, right? Uh, is G R R Tolkien's work. So this is Tolkien's work that we are predominantly looking at. Please keep that in mind. Myth making altogether. Narratology, otherwise also, is a very important topic. Uh, myth making is something which is associated archetypal criticism. These are all interrelated topics. Now the last ice breaking question. Then we move on to our. our Our topic for today that is drama. Milkman is a historical, psychological, fictional novel written by the Irish author Anna Burns. It won the Booker Prize. Booker Prize is very important. Cover a Booker Prize work on a regular basis. That is what I say. These are strategies. These are techniques that you will have to apply all together. Right? Just keep all of these in mind because a lot of you will ask. So, uh, so works like you know, postmodernism has to be completed. American literature has to be uh, has to be properly uh, done. Your postcolonial critics, Marxism, right? Marxism and your popular popular culture. All of these topics you will have to figure out uh, and and do it completed before your exam, right? so so that also becomes important for all of you to cover okay let's see how many of you have got the right answer over here how many of you have got it right okay oh god where is the comment section gone let me read it from here only yes d absolutely right uh, that's right so here we are able to see that milkman is a work right milkman is the work which is coming in and this is coming in 2018 right is this the what is the book in 2018 anna burns novels right uh so that that is again uh, another important work milkman got the booker prize it got a lot of other literary prizes and this is coming in 2018 2018 is absolutely the right answer now coming to the questions related to drama how are we supposed to be covering drama first of all remember what are the most important concepts in drama american drama 20th century drama even for that matter jacobian age restoration age drama uh, shakespearean drama elizabethan drama classical drama indian drama all of these topics have to be covered all of these topics have to be covered so you will have to cover drama end to end you will have to make sure that you are covering drama end to end that is important now let us look at some questions related to drama now we are just looking at all the questions now that will come or all the concepts that will now come are related to drama the first woman to win the nobel prize in literature was who was the first woman to win the nobel prize in literature who are we talking about who is the first woman to actually get it right uh, so so this actually is not so much to do with drama but this is just to tell you book a prize nobel prizes these are important awards that all of you should know good evening rani Okay, notification. Yeah, I'll just share it again. One second. Thanks so much for uh, Rani for telling. I've just shared the notification. We just started actually, so I also forgot to share the notification. Okay, right now we've shared the notification. Right, what is the right answer here? Uh, so Selma Lagerlöf. Remember, rat trap was a unit that you had. Rat trap was something that which was there in your NCRE textbooks as well. Uh, so she had she had written the Gosta Berling saga and had got the Nobel Prize also. So the first woman to get the Nobel Prize is Selma Lagerlöf. Selma Lagerlöf is the first woman writer. She's a Swedish writer. 
to get the Booker Prize. And our first novel that you had was Gosta Berling. So Nobel Prize, Booker Prize, Pulitzer Prize, Science Academy Award, uh, all of these Commonwealth Writers Prize, Orange Prize. Some of these prizes are important, and you should ideally cover. The second act of Badal Sirkar's play, Ivam Indrajit. Now one trick that I am telling all of you, and trust me, this trick will also work. Don't fall completely on this, but this will make your battle very easy. One percent. If you are not covering a topic, now we'll have regular classes, right, on YouTube, on the free app platform. Even the classroom program students are there, right? Now, one trick that all of you need to do, if even if you're planning not to do a particular topic, okay. For instance, if you are practicing a question, or we are practicing a concept, or I'm giving taking a conceptual class for understanding anything that I'm doing. Please properly take running notes on sheets. Eventually, you will see that by the time, even if you are closely attending everything which is coming on the Telegram, everything either on the YouTube platform or app, even from today onwards also, that is perfectly all right. But if you are attending it regularly, just be very organized. So, for instance, if there is a question that has come on drama, for instance, if there is a question that has come on Nobel Prize winning writers, for instance, if there is a question that has come on criticism, for instance, if there is a question that has come on, say, non-fictional prose, right? Pr put it together. You'll you'll honestly see. I have I've actually uh, also like you know even here also at at both Greta by Jews we've seen. Uh, people don't do Indian drama, but only with the questions that they have done, they have been able to cover some of these texts, and they have been able to compile their notes and put it together, and they have become exam ready. It's it's a quick fix. I am always of the opinion that your foundation has to be built, your fundas have to be built. But having said that, even if one percent you are not able to cover a topic, if you are regularly following, organize your notes really well. If there is a question that we are covering, say on on uh, by African writers or uh, or you know uh, African writers, or we are covering a question on Indian writings, just be very meticulously organized and make sure that you put it in the right corner, right? Make sure that you put it in the right corner. That is something which is really important. And this way, uh, before the exam, you will see that automatically your your questions would have actually been covered for all of them. For instance, like you know, have notebooks, right? Maybe you can have different notebooks. You can have one notebook for drama. You can have one notebook for say. Uh, literary theory and criticism you can have another notebook which can be related to some other topic so so be very organized that is what i'm trying to say that will also really help you overall in covering the the topic altogether okay now what is the right answer here what is the right answer here a is absolutely the right answer a is absolutely the right answer over here right this is absolutely the right answer 7 is the correct answer okay it is coming back after 7 years it is coming back after 7 years so ivam indrajit please write down these pointers very important work of the director theater director and dramatist badal sirkar originally which language was it written in it was written in bengali who translated it into english girish kanad had translated it into english right and what is this this is actually uh, you know this entire conversation with indrajit and we are able to see that it opens after 7 years right it is opening after 7 years so ivam indrajit badal sarkar you can just cover this only today <coughs> in indian writings or there are actually four five questions from indian writers you can at least cover all of those Right, you can cover all of those. This is a this is existentialist drama. Ah, uh, even when we look at Mohan Rakesh or we are looking at ah uh, writers like of course like Badal Sirkar, they are people. They are people who are talking about it, right? And the second act is coming after seven years. Characters Amal, Vimal, Kamal. Next time you can get this also. They settle down to a middle class life. They settled in. Maybe they are frustrated, but they settled in. the suffocation which is there in just settling in what what the society has said all together right yes 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 we have a class tomorrow also which amongst the following indian playwrights was the first to compose a play on the marginalization of homosexual community very important writer overall and uh, a good question that has come what is the right answer here a writer 
on a muggy night in bombay is the work that we are talking about and uh, otherwise also in works like tara the writer has written well you can cover the writer from ignu book also so today if you go back you can just type type uh, you know mahesh datani and e gyan kosh and you can cover mahesh datani's writings that's also equally important b is absolutely the right answer temina has answered it correctly mahesh datani is the writer who's writing on a on a muggy night in bombay on a muggy night in bombay just look at the tani's writings just cover the tani's writings right just look at other works of the tani because you will get questions works like tara which is talking about the twins conjoined twins all together so very important um, writings that he is writing uh, or totally about right so just make sure that you cover it end to end indian please silence the court is in session was originally written in which of the following indian languages okay which of the following indian languages was it written where which language was it written which language are we able to see silence the court is in session was written in which language yes shanta ko chalu aat i i is somebody ahe is somebody understands yes it is in marathi right vijay tendulkar has written this play in marathi and here we are able to see that this particular play was actually a very important example um, of indian drama uh, that there, there are of course a couple of other problems just give me one minute i think there's somebody at the door i'll just quickly open the doorbell and i'll be back one minute just coming one second So in the meantime, you can answer the next question also. I'll give you the next question. This is Vijay Tendulkar writing it in Marathi. This is the next question for you. right sorry uh i am back i just had to take the doorbell right uh, so here what are we uh, answering so again uh, your your drama which is coming from africa african drama is also another important gugiva thiongo is also writing it right uh, what is the correct answer here everyone what is the name of the lion in war shoinka's play the lion and the jewel and remember war shoinka becomes the first african to get the nobel prize so that is again very important for us to keep in mind african writers getting it albert camus is a uh, uh, you know he is an african origin african origin person getting the nobel prize but technically the first person is actually was showing up then ben okri uh, nadeen godima ben okri getting the booker prize nadeen godima getting the nobel prize again jm kotsi getting the nobel prize so african writers who are getting the nobel prize that is also important but showing up started it where was showing up from showing up was from the university of ibadan and university of ibadan is a center point of african studies So Nigerian studies actually started over here. That is what you are able to see. So what is the name of the lion in War Shoinka's play? Majority of you have got it right. A is absolutely the right answer. Who is War Shoinka? Is a Nigerian writer, right? Baroka is a lion, right? And this is talking about Sidi. Sidi is the jewel. It is telling you about the African practice of bright price. That is something which is predominantly being discussed over here. So please keep that in mind. Baroka is absolutely the right answer. Laconel is the person who is trying to also uh, marry Sidi. East West encounter is always there. Baroka is a lion. Sidi is the jewel. Talks about the bright price. Father is ready to give the daughter to Baroka uh, because of the fact that you know he is even though he is aged but he is having more money. And Laconel is representing the modern idea. So East West encounter. counter that also comes across so please remember all of these pointers uh, in a proper fashion uh, coming on to another pointer which of the following plays by wolf shoinka is based on the impact of ancestral spirits on the larger social and political environment of nigeria in early post independence time what is the right answer here 
let's just see how many of you are able to get the right answer also we have started with a fresh uh, uh, batch today itself so i hope most of the students who are joining from the classroom program are doing your homework also and you got up to speed i i will share the pdf uh, also uh, via email but before that just make sure that all of you are at least uh, giving it a shot at reviewing whatever we had done absolutely right a dance of the forest very important work is about nigerian independence it is telling you about ancestral spirits and how they can impact the living mortals remember Go uh, nathalie hawthorn also the american writer who is associated with american renaissance is also discussing about how you have the curse of the family so when we are looking at uh, works that uh, that hawthorn also is trying to talk about he talks about the curse in the family altogether the same writer has written bleachdale romance scarlet letter he is the one who is also talking about a similar theme but here um how the spirits are having an impact on the live people that is something that is being discussed and a dance of the forest is absolutely the right answer so showing us play the lion and the jewel showing us play a dance of the forest so imagine even if you've not covered african drama or even if you've not covered african literature by the end of you know a couple of these sessions or your own practice also if you're being very organized in taking down the notes that is what i'm saying you will be able to see majority of your course half the battle is already won like that's a trick but uh, build your foundations also simultaneously that is equally important ola rotomi is ola rotomi is the gods are not to blame is an adaptation of which greek tragedy <coughs> what is the right answer here what is the right answer here Neha, um, you can. Yeah, I've already done that. You can mail it to me if you don't have it. Most of the people who've mailed it have got it. Uh, and and uh, I think some of you are only left. Okay, uh, who all are left? Maybe, I'll. Uh, a couple of you are left. I'll I'll send that after I'm done with the class. Uh, yes. What is the right answer? C is absolutely right. Oedipus Rex is the correct answer. right most of you have got it right most of you have got it so adaptations is a very important question that is usually come the gods are not to blame the gods are not to blame by ola rotomi this is adaptation of oedipus rex right ode wale ode wale is is having this false sense of security altogether and oedipus rex is is the one right oedipus rex is the play which is a major source of inspiration so ola rotomi please remember that is getting inspired by oedipus rex over here which of the following african playwright is concerned with ritual suicide of a yoruba king horseman ritual suicide of a yoruba king horseman again you have an african playwright african drama coming in i think uh, you would be able to answer this by now death and the king's horseman who's the writer of dwayne good pricey has answered it correctly uh, so vol showinka the writer vol showinka is a writer who's written death and the king's horseman and death and the king's horseman is talking about how uh, you had to practice See, one important theme theme in african literature be it nigerian literature like where from where vol showinka is coming or be it your kenyan literature or literature from ghana literature from south africa what are you able to see east west encounter is a very important and theme right that is something that chinua actually also talks about in things fall apart so here you are able to see that according to the yoruba tradition there was a death of the king and and post the death of the king you had a ritual suicide of the king's horseman and the king's dog and the horse so certain practices that you are able to see that that actually were continuing all together right so uh, please keep that aspect uh, in mind that vol showinka is actually mentioning that in death and the king's horseman so three plays by vol showinka right now lion and the jewel that we've talked about dance of the forest which is dealing with uh, independence theme and it is dealing with the impact of the spirits on the living people and here we are also looking at death and king's horseman 
so even if you have not done shoinka by just being organized you have access to three important plays even if you have not done badal sarkar you would know that who's translating badal sarkar's writing and how he's talking about sarthi and existentialism even if you don't know about mahesh tatani you can at least remember uh, you know how he's talking about homosexuality how in works like tara he is discussing uh, the modern problems and he is giving a new light to indian drama so this is what we are saying to be very organized while you are collating data and not just be like a headless hen when you're collating data all together okay which of the following statements are true about tennessee williams a street car named desire a street car named desire which of the following are true when we are looking at tennessee williams a street car named desire this was performed by the way on the broadway broadway is like so many times a part of the bucket list for so many people they want to go watch a play at the broadway american drama 20th century how the black consciousness movement the negritude movement remember classroom students we talked about that today in the 9 pm lecture as well what is the right answer here rupesh has answered it correctly rupesh has answered it correctly that that is absolutely the right answer okay so blanche alleges that stanley made forceful sexual advances towards her while stella was delivering a baby all right and blanche upon disagreeing pax was stella and she's taken by a doctor and matron to a mental asylum okay now why uh, is this particular work important 20th century drama is important american drama is further important uh, a street car named desire is a beautiful play by tennessee williams you should read it end to end it was performed at the broadway and what is it telling you it is telling you the story of blanche the boys and who is blanche the boys blanche the boys has got a lot of these personal losses and we are able to see that you know because of the personal losses she has to go to a shabby apartment in new orleans and and you know uh, her younger sister and brother in law have rented it and what are we able to see we are able to see that you know uh, there is this street car the ideal metaphor for human condition the real street car altogether that is something which which is actually trying to represent a beautiful play overall uh, but do remember american drama has to be covered street car named desire by tennessee williams is of course important which of the following american playwrights wrote a play and dramatized the salem witch trials that took place in massachusetts bay colony very simple uh, a, a, a question that is coming he is one of the important people uh, who is changing the contours of american in drama and his play is really important which play are we talking about the crucible who is the writer of the crucible who has written the crucible on salem witch trials yes the remembered has written it correctly it's by arthur miller arthur miller is telling you about the salem witch trials in massachusetts bay colony that had taken place in 1692 93 so that is something that is being discussed in the crucibles so imagine half the times even if you don't do arthur miller but if you are constantly following i think you will get enough questions from american drama or american literature that we'll be covering where arthur miller will come again and again the so crucible is the play and it is trying to literally tell about and please remember it's an allegory for mccarthyism in united states of america so that is also a very 20th century theme that is coming in which of the following characters return from treatment for morphine addiction in eugene o'neill's play long days journey into night right what is this character the eugene o'neill again a very important writer so what what is it it's a tragedy in four acts <coughs> and remember the the play is taking place on a single day itself that is where the play is actually taking place right so what is the right answer over here let's just quickly complete this then and we're on the 19th question let's let's just do uh till 25 at least so five more questions right absolutely right b is the correct answer mary cavan trone is absolutely the correct answer long days journey into night this is a tragedy right and when was it published it was published in 1956 uh, this play is taking place on a single day altogether and what are we able to see we are able to see that you know all the plays by eugene o'neill arthur miller uh, even for that matter tennessee williams these are plays that are cutting edge they are marking a departure from the plays that were previously written and american plays and american 20th century writings are very realistic they're coming grappling from the reality altogether that you and i are 
experiencing in which of the following american plays does the playwright pose a question what happens to a dream deferred very beautiful play again very very important uh, what happens to a, de a dream deferred tony kushner is important by the way angels in america is a really beautiful play again but what is the right answer here yes shalu dev soman sutpa Firu star, everyone. I don't know if the, this was the answer for the last question. I don't know that. Lorraine Hansberry, the reason in the sun is absolutely the right answer. What happens to a dream deferred? Uh, a reason in the sun is the correct answer that we're able to see. So this is a tragedy which is coming again Broadway and title is coming from Langston Hughes poem, The Heart Limb. It's telling you about this black family living in Chicago and how they are not able to fit in. Half the 20th century writings, please remember, half the 20th century writings are all talking about the problem of fitting in or adjustment or they're also talking about loneliness as we spoke about, right? Besides, 20th century writings is very realistically carved. The characters are associated uh, with, with most of the real life people that we are able to see. Okay, uh, in which of the following plays Thornton Wilder breaks the fourth wall through the character called stage manager through the stage call uh, stage wall called uh, sorry through the stage wall right through the character called the stage manager breaking the the collapse of the the fourth wall which is also called the kitchen sink drama the realistic drama that we are able to see so again Thornton Wilder is an American playwright by the way please remember that what is the correct answer here. Thornton Wilder. No, no, no. Shantani Nath has answered it correctly. Very good, Shantani. And Shantani, I loved it how she said 21D. Very good and intelligent, right? Our Town is a work by Thornton Wilder, which got the Pulitzer Prize for drama. And this is trying to tell you about the Grover's Corners. Grover's Corners. Everyday life at the Grover's Corners. That is something which is discussed. Stage manager is starting the play. Stage manager ends the play. And he coordinates it. Right? He's coordinating the play all together. That is what you're able to see. So here, please remember that Our Town by Thornton Wilder. Thornton Wilder. Collapse of the fourth wall. There is a complete collapse of the fourth wall in Our Town. Meta theatrical play. Th play which is... So remember the, the Italian writer Luigi Prandolo is recipient of the Nobel Prize. Uh, Luigi Prandolo is also writing six characters in search of an author. Right and Italian literature. So today we've actually spoken about uh, we've spoken about Antonio Gramsci giving the concept of subaltern. He's Italian philosopher. Then he's spoken about Luigi Pirandello, who's an Italian six characters in search of an author, which is a meta theatrical work. Then we started. Uh, remember the second question that we spoke about? We spoke about Julian Sorel is a character made by Stondal, the French writer in Red in the Black. Then we also discussed important pointers like of course World Shoenka, there were three questions. Then we also had questions related to the Pilgrim's Regress which is telling you about John's search for the Island of Desire, 1933 by C.S. Lewis which is actually an allegory uh, and, and, uh, and this allegorical work is reminiscent of course of the Pilgrim's Progress by Bunyan. So till the time you would not make connections, till the time you will not be organized, till the times you will not regularly structure all of this what we are doing, it will be very difficult for you to revise it. So please remember that. Okay. Grover's Corner is something which is being discussed over here. Okay. Here we go. Which are the following set characters discuss ghost resembling the late king hamlet in shakespeare's hamlet all right shakespeare's hamlet don't forget shakespeare do uh, you can look at tales from shakespeare by charles and mary lamb which is it that we're talking about Again, Rosencrantz and Gildistern are dead by Tom Stupart, the writer who's written Arcadia. I had a couple of questions today, but I think we'll, we'll stick to about 25 questions for starters. But tomorrow, please be organized and come prepared. We'll continue with drama. We'll also do a little bit of theoretical bits. And then we'll, we'll cover a few practice questions. But like I said, 
now whenever till the time your exam is coming be very organized and and make sure that you're making running notes on sheets of papers so that you can collate it topic wise and some some of your topics are going to be completed d is the right answer rupesh very good shantini is answer shantini is on fire so tupa is also very very good very good absolutely right so Ber bernardo and marcellus is the right answer over here so hamlet each and every character in hamlet king lear remember who came today we were talking about ketridge and uh, ac bradley uh, how they are looking at uh, an older way of criticism and ac bradley is also given uh, shakespearean criticism so please remember that in which of the following acts of shakespeare's tempest as a wedding mask exist wedding mask exists tempest is also to this time in your net exam there was a question that had come on the reworking of tempest in the form of tufan so these kind of questions will come they are asked you you need to be a little more prepared about shakespearean adaptations and popular culture is actually a lot about that itself right what is the correct answer here okay, i'm a little thirsty but anyway 23b or uh, no <laughs> no, 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 no. It's taking place in the fourth act. Okay, it's taking place in the fourth act. So, what are you able to see? Very good, Goro. The tempest. We are able to see. We're we're in a position to look at how the first scene. Ship is at the sea during the tempest, right? Prospero is a sorcerer. Uh, go line by, like you know, go act by act and make a chart for tempest because it's important. You have psychological readings now of the Caliban complex. You are having post-colonial reading of the tempest as well, which is done. And what are you able to see? You've got daughter uh, of uh, Prospero, Miranda, the only woman. Caliban is there. Uh, Ariel is there. Right, all together in fourth act, there is a wedding mask. Okay, play within a play again. Fourth, fourth act, not in the third one. It's in the fourth act. Right, Prospero's mask features Juno. That is because it's symbol of uh, marriage altogether. So it's the fourth act. Please remember that. Okay, it is not the third act as most of you are are answering it. It's the fourth act that we are talking about. Oh God, I have to get this exchanged only. Okay, uh, so one second. Sorry, this is the fourth act that we are discussing about. Okay, so uh, fourth act is where the wedding mask is taking place. It's a play within a play that we are able to see, and he the characters uh, that Prospero's mask is presenting is Juno's character. Okay, twenty fourth. Which of the following statements are not true about Shakespeare's uh, Shakespeare's romantic comedy called Twelfth Night? What is the right answer here, everyone? Yes, so the feminist reading as well. Even if you read Shakespeare's plays from Oxford Companion to English literature, literature largely will be sorted only. Twelfth Night, romantic comedy by Shakespeare. Shock a baby, I'll do that. Uh, okay. Yes, D is absolutely the right answer. Uh, D is the right answer over here. Twelfth Night is set in Elleria. Viola disguises as a man called Cesario. Again, Countess Olivia falls in love with Cesario, and Duke Arsenio is not in love with Viola. This is not right. Okay, this is not right. For Shakespeare's uh, summaries, you can read tales from Shakespeare's tales of Shakespeare's as well from Charles and Mary Lamb. That will be very helpful. Um, Cross dressing is coming across romantic comedies. You You can cover Shakespearean romantic comedies. You can cover it end to end because it's a different kind of a genre that he is coming up with. That can be your homework for today as well. Uh, that you can look at. Okay. Uh, all right. This is uh, one of your last questions for today. Uh, I'll stop over here because this is the first day. Tomorrow we'll continue with a better swing. Which of the following Shakespearean plays have a Title as a double entendre. There's a double entendre as a title. What is the right answer here? Yes. Hmm. 
okay i think uh, there's a severe cold warning also which was issued so please keep yourself warm uh, so so there is a double on thronde uh, so what is the right answer here is actually much ado about nothing okay much ado about nothing so so there was basically nothing and there was nothing noting 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 was uh, an elizabethan word that was used and it was considered to be a a, a kind of a double on thronde all together so much ado about no nothing had the title itself and this question has by the way been asked in your exams as well okay now your homework is very simple just review predominantly today drama collated properly tomorrow we're going to be meeting again at 10:30 pm uh, we'll cover a few more topics i'll also include a few theoretical details we'll cover practice questions on Uh, on your uh, drama unit let's try and make sure that you know we are preparing really well and getting at least like at least approximately per unit we are able to practice say about 250 questions per unit it's like a huge mammoth task 250 questions per unit like drama novel or uh, it's not going to be um, possible for all the units uh, but let's just target uh, to cover most of these so that you know we can absorb as many pointers we can be better prepared for our exams uh, theoretically conceptually at your end i will also take out a list of topics which you definitely should study before your exams and build your foundation slowly and steadily and the pace work this is something that you can do uh, so both the things like study for 2 to 3 hours the foundational learning and the remaining you can actually take it uh, like take all these sessions also very very seriously okay your homework today please review all of these uh, all of these questions that we have looked at right so that is your homework cover drama uh, unit read a little more on the drama unit be a little more organized is what i would say classroom students you already know what you have to read and if in case there are any other doubts that you are having uh, just please feel free to let us know about it okay thanks everyone for joining i will catch up with all of you tomorrow i'll share the link on the telegram platform uh, if there are going to be any other questions that you are having do let us know let's just crack the uh, you know the, the exam this time for sure thanks everyone for joining god bless take care bye i'll catch up with all of you don't bunk it tomorrow okay